Hi everyone and welcome. This is Marshall with Athenium. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to correctly swap your Embercoin to the Athenium blockchain. I know you all are very excited to finally be able to do this and uh, we're not going to waste any time. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So the first thing I'm going to share with you all uh, are very important King links. So the first one is the uh, the link to the swap instructions. Second is the Athenium Block Explorer. Third is the Embercoin Block Explorer. The fourth is the Embercoin Wallet Release, and the fifth is the Athenium Wallet Release. So the first one we're going to go to is the swap instructions. So we're just going to click that link, and it's at emberchain.xyz. Uh, and so. Uh, Essentially what we're going to do is just run through the instructions step by step very carefully um, and ensure that you guys know exactly what you're doing. Uh, the cool thing about our swap process is that we do have a live swap cross-chain monitor. Uh, you guys can actually blow this up to full screen if you like. If you are bored and you want to watch the, uh, the blockchain, you are free to do so. So first things first, before you continue, please note that the instructions contained herein need to be followed attentively in order to swap successfully. The absolute worst thing you could do is just to skim or skip the instructions or fail to verify the addresses and any of the steps. This information is posted as a reference only and we are not responsible for any loss you may incur. So we're going to go ahead and go to step one which is making sure that you are on the correct blockchain on Ember. Making sure you're on the correct fork and making sure that you're at the correct block height with the correct client. The easiest way to do this is to go to your Ember wallet, go to help, and click the debug window, and your information will appear right here under client version. So 1.1.5.6 right here. So that's the most simple way to ensure you're on the right client. Um, now we want to double check that we have the correct block height. Uh, we are currently at block 423465. So there are, are, are two ways that you can check the, uh, for the correct block height. The first one is if you're in our Discord. Let me open up Discord here. You can compare it against our EMB bot that we have right here, which we have 423465. And what did we say? We said 423465. So that's one way. If you're not in our Discord, you can go to the Embercoin Block Explorer at coinexplorer.net forward slash EMB. And you can uh, check that last block found right here on, on this main page. Okay, so that's the easiest way to double check your block height. Now, um, if you're not on the correct block height or you do not have the correct wallet version, what we recommend doing is going to the Embercoin wallet release that we have on GitHub. And you download the necessary version that you need, uh, depending upon which operating system you have. And so you can download that. And once it's finally downloaded, um, if Embercoin has not been installed in your machine before, just let it uh, sync from scratch. And uh, once it's finally synced, double check with the Coin Explorer or with the Discord bot to make sure you're at the correct block height. Now, if you have a previous version that is not one uh, 0.1.5.6 um, you will need to most likely sync from scratch uh, because a lot of the older versions are on a different fork. Uh, the easiest way to do this, uh, syncing from scratch, is uh, to go to where your Ember files are located. If you're on Windows it's going to be in a uh, your app data roaming folder. If you are on Mac um, what you'll do is you'll go to uh, you'll go to your finder, you'll go to go, and click library while holding down the alt key or the option key. 
click library. And under application support, you go to Ember. And the easiest way to do this is, let me back up one second. Before you do anything, always, always back up your Ember wallet, just in case, uh, especially while you're trying to update it. Um, you don't want to lose your Ember before you even swap. That could be the worst thing that could happen. So um, always back up your wallet. Before you before you do anything, so the files you want to uh, remove in order to sync from scratch, you could basically delete everything in there. So everything but the wallet dot dat that would be fine. So you delete that, and your wallet will begin syncing from scratch uh, as you reopen it. Um, and so as it finally resyncs, you just compare it against the the Embercoin Block Explorer or the Discord bot. Okay, so that's step one. Uh, if you have any issues with that, just join us in Discord and we will be happy to help you out. Uh, step two, you're going to download and then install the Athenium wallet, which can be found at our GitHub, Athenium Chain Forge slash Athenium. So you're going to go to the release and it's version 1.001 .001. and we have Mac Mojave, uh, Ubuntu Headless, Ubuntu Qt, and the Windows Qt. So download the necessary file that you need and what you're going to do is open it up, let it sync from scratch, and check it against either the Athenium Wait, I'm sorry, that was the wrong link. You're going to check it against the Athenium Block Explorer that we have set up. Which you can, this the latest block height is at 22155. Or you can check it against the Athenium bot that we have in Discord, also right here under automation. And so I have my Athenium wallet right here, and it's currently synced to... 22155, so I'm on the correct block. So make sure both of your wallets are synced up to the correct block heights before you do anything else. That's very important. All right, so moving on to step three, generating swap addresses. So the first thing we're going to do is in the field above, enter your Athenium wallet address and click submit and your Ember swap addresses will appear below the red line. So we're going to navigate to our Athenium wallet, go to receive, and as you have a new wallet, you're going to click request payment, and it will create a new address for you guys. So you're going to simply click copy address, hit close, and just simply paste it. And hit submit. And what it's going to do is generate two swap addresses. Uh, before we do anything else, let's read step four. So step four, you must send your EMB to both addresses generated in step three. Sending to one of the two only will result in the loss of your coins. The send must be done to both addresses simultaneously, not really fast, simultaneously. This means you will have to add a second recipient to the transaction. The total of your send must be minimum 100,000 EMB and less than 850 million EMB. If it's below 100,000 EMB, the swapper will reject the send, which will result in a coin burn and the loss of your coins. Over 850 million, and the wallet will not accept the transaction. If you don't follow the instructions, there is nothing we can do to help you. If you are unsure, you've un understood everything, test it first. Send 70,000 and 30,000 as a trial, or any combination of 100,000. So essentially, you could send... 50,000 and 50,000, or 70 and 30, or 90 and 10, or whatever combination your heart desires. 
So the process of swapping requires that your coins be sent to both generated addresses in the same transaction. Review the points in the, in the frame above this text and make sure you understand everything there. So it's actually very simple. Um, you're just going to send to both addresses. So we're going to copy the first address. We're going to open up the Ember wallet. We're going to go to send. And you're going to hit paste under the pay to. And I'm actually going to label this as swap address one. So that if you have a multiple inputs or much more than 850 million, uh, it's going to require you to do multiple sends. So saving that address as a label, you can just use it from your address book. It'll be very easy after that. So um, we're also going to add a recipient before we do anything else. Add a recipient, and we're going to grab the second wallet address. Navigate to the Ember folder, paste it. And this is going to be our swap address two. And one thing to note about sending it in this manner is that when sending inputs, you will need to use coin control features. Uh, if you don't, it will fail because it will end up having change over 850 million for those that have larger amounts. Uh, so to easily turn on coin control, uh, if you're on Mac, you will go to Ember QT, uh, then preferences, and then under display, you will select display coin control features. You'll hit apply, then click OK. If you're on Windows, you'll go to settings. It will show up in settings. And then you will have uh, an options selection right here. You click options, and then it'll, it'll still show the same kind of menu. And then you'll go to display, and you'll click display coin control features, apply, and click OK. And you'll be good to go. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and select our inputs. So I'm, I only have one input in this wallet, so we're going to select that one. And that's about 85 million. So what I'm going to do is send 50 million in one of the addresses. And then I'm going to send 35 million to the other. So now I have zero change. Uh, if you guys notice what I did, I just typed in, let me delete that out of here, zero. Um, I typed in 50 million here first, and then the change is what is left over. So I just copied, copy change, and just pasted it in here. Paste. And so you'll have zero MB, should have zero MB left over without zero dust. Um, and then you're going to double check everything. So let's double check our addresses. So E841, GTA GE, ECFV, MGKKG, MGKKG. Okay, so those addresses look great. And we are going to hit send. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything in here. In step five, select the Ember address generated in step three and copy it. Right click. Do not send yet. If you do, these coins will be lost. Prepare the send to the second swap address in step six. Review and send. So we've just reviewed it. We have it saved as two labels, swap address, my swap one, my swap two. It doesn't matter. You can label those whatever you wish. Uh, review all the info. Make sure you have two transactions. The total of these transactions is at least 100,000 Ember and that you double checked all addresses. Once you're certain everything is good, press send. So we are ready to send it. You'll hit send. Are you sure you want to send this to swap address one and send to swap address two? We're gonna click yes. This transaction is over the size limit. You can still send it for a fee of one ten thousandth of Ember. 
You're welcome, network. Click yes. All right, so our Ember coin is sent. You can see that it has been sent out. Uh, for troubleshooting issues, record both transaction IDs of the sent Ember coin as well as the block heights of both EMB and M Athenium wallets. This is just preventative, but you should still do this step. So just to walk through this, we're going to go ahead and first we're going to double check what block we sent that on. So 423467. So I'm just going to type this in here into my Word document. So we sent on 423467. And I'm going to make sure it's sent on Ember block 423467. The transactions, we can get the copy transaction ID. So you just navigate to transactions, copy it. So that's actually swap address two. Let's get the first one, swap address one. Swap one ID, and we're just going to paste it in there. And then swap two transaction ID, we're going to paste that in there. So you copy that transaction ID. And you see the subtle difference, 0, 0, 0, 0, 001. Um, so we just copied those. We're also going to check the Athenium block height. So we are at block 22160. We're also going to write that in there. Um, aim block at... sent block 221 double check that 22160 okay so we're going to have those set aside so we can monitor and then the worst part about the process is waiting for the swap to complete um, <laughs> this is the most important part it requires a bit of patience as it will take 30 blocks on the Ember network to start the burn, approximately two hours. Uh, once it's confirmed, it will take up another 30 minutes to appear in the Athenium wallet. And so if you have the patience and you want to wait for about two to two and a half hours, you are more than welcome to watch as your, uh, watch as your transactions take place on the cross-chain monitor. Um, but we are not going to do that. Um, but we are going to come back in a little bit and I will show you guys what it looks like uh, once your swap is initiated through the monitor. All right, everyone, about an hour and 40 minutes has passed and uh, we can actually see that the EMB has finally reached the cross chain monitor. So I'm gonna just make this full screen so you guys can see that better. It says that 85 million Ember was paid, and it's paying out 267 Athenium coin to my address. And if we escape out of here, you guys will see that I have received 267 Athenium coin in my wallet. So that is how the swap is done. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to us in Discord. That will be the best way for us to contact you and help you should you need it. All right. We will see you guys later. I'm sure you guys are glad to finally be getting uh, your Ethereum coin in your wallets. So uh, you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.